All right, people. My post game thoughts: Georgia Southern at Alabama, South Alabama. I take that back. I had to wait a minute before I did this video because I had to collect my thoughts. There's a lot to unpack here, and that just something I I know I know this is the interim coach. Quick turnaround from Saturday. Boy, I tell you. Let's get into this. Welcome to the First and Frame Race channel. I am VF Ball over here. We talk about Georgia Southern. Talk about Atlanta Falcons football as well. Atlanta Falcons on the bye week. Not much to talk about there. Few things that happened over there, but we'll get into that later. Georgia Southern went to Mobile, Alabama, laid an egg. They it, they look really bad. I mean, really bad. This is not Georgia Southern football. This is not what we are used to seeing. And um, a lot of stuff going to have to change. But like I said on Twitter a few days ago, it's going to get worse before it gets better because we still got some more games to play. And with the games we have to play that's left, man, oh, man, it is going to be rough to watch. Um, Out the gate, we end up down 10 to nothing in the first quarter. We had a chance to do something, and it just fluttered. Interception by Justin Tomlin. Uh, Just... <sighs> I don't like to talk about players in a bad light. I don't because, you know, these guys are college players. For the most part, they're kids. They're just trying to play football to the highest potential that they can. They're still developing. I understand that, and I don't want to talk about them. But, you know, I just did not like what I see out of, out of our quarterbacks. Even when Cam Ransom came in, he tried to do the best he can. And, oh, man, I, 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 I kind of feel bad for him because he's been thrown into situations trying to make things happen. And he has the potential to do so much, and it just seems like he's not able to show off what he can do because there's no original offense game plan around him. There's nothing. They just throw him in once things go bad, and he's trying to, you know, clean up the mess. But that's a, that's a whole nother topic I'm going to touch down the road because Ransom is a program changer. And he needs to be here at Georgia Southern. And I'll just leave it at that for right now. As far as our defense, I don't know what happened. Our defense played way much better than this. Jake Bentley threw for 389 yards, three touchdowns. And I know that our secondary has been suspect. We played a little bit better as of late, but this is unacceptable. It's not the fact that they can't cover people there was miscommunication. There were just people out of place. There were just people that, even when they were in place, they weren't put, putting hands up to to knock the ball away. I mean, I saw one pass where a guy caught a pass over three people, and another one, a few other ones when you know these guys are getting like Randy Moss. You know, it's like I don't want to talk bad. I really don't want to talk about the bad about the kids. I really don't, and I'm I'm keeping it to the point where I'm just evaluating what I see on the field. These guys need some form of direction to go take their their you know their talents to another level. And I know Coach Whitley was just throwing in a spot as interim head coach, but you really saw the lack of preparation today. You saw it. The fact that they played on Saturday and when you play a Thursday game, your week is basically, you know, it's almost like cut in half as far as playing the game, um, the following the next game. And you could tell they just was not prepared. And it's, this is the growing pains that you have when you have an interim head coach. These are the things that happen when you have a coach that's just thrown in there or when you have an inexperienced head coach or, or when you have a coach that haven't coached on this type of level where turnaround games are like that. You don't have these type of games in high school, not that I know of, where you play like four days away from another, you know. So it's a big turnaround. And to get kids ready for that when, you know, the kids got school and all this other stuff going on, it's tough. It really is. So, I mean, South Alabama, their, their coaching staff clearly outcoached the Georgia Southern Eagles. And, you know, it just showed because not only that, you know, uh, Kevin Whitley, Coach Whitley is just now starting as an interim head coach. You got a couple of uh, uh, the offensive defensive coordinators. They make highly questionable play calls. Very, uh, highly questioned. I mean, highly with all letters and caps. Highly questionable play calling, and 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 to an extent, it 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 you know it pretty much puts us into a bind early in the game. 
you thought when Bob the Best was, you know, when Bob the Best wasn't here anymore, you wouldn't see the same thing. But it seemed like we see the same type of situations. And like I say, you can't blame the kids. You can't blame them. You really can't. I don't want to blame them because they're just putting in a situation to try to do something. And uh, it's really unfortunate. At two and five, and I'm, I'm not even going to get into the stats. But at two and five, we play Georgia State next October 30th. And Paulson. It's a winnable game. But going forward, down the road, we're going to see probably more of games similar to this. And it's going to sting. It's going to hurt. But I'll be here every single time giving you guys my analysis, my thoughts, my opinions, and everything that needs to, everything under that umbrella. Because I love this team. I love them. Even though they can be, you know, 2-5, and 0-5, oh you know, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, when I started making content for Georgia Southern, I this is one of the things I always wanted to do, win, lose, or draw. This is what I will continue to do. You know, um, it's tough. It's real tough to see this because you know the high standard that this this school has, this football program has a very high standard when it comes to football. You know, I mean, we 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 had our glory moments, we had our phenomenal moments, we had our great moments, but right now, this is like one of them times that we're not looking like you know we're not looking like what we used to. But I have faith that things are going to happen. Binko already said he got, he's going to have things in motion to get things done as far as coaching changes or whatever the case may be. I hate to say this like this, but I think Coach Whitley, I think tonight was the night that Coach Whitley probably coached himself out of being in the, being as a candidate for this job. I think he I think he played himself out of it in this game. You know, the last game when we when we blew up Arkansas State and we and the other one we came back almost came back against Louisiana. You know, it's uh it was it was up for debate that was, was he gonna be it. But I think this game right here, I think this game took him out of the running. So um that's just my personal opinion. I think it has. And uh we'll see where we go from there. You know, I wanted to gloat that Louisiana we came back and almost beat Louisiana, and Louisiana blew out Appalachia State, and then we turn around and do this. <laughs> I wanted to, man, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's a long week this time for Georgia Southern. They're going to go down. They're going to um, have a week and a half to get prepared for, uh, uh, you know, the Georgia State Panthers. They come down to Paulson. And uh, I can't wait for that game. That game is going to be uh, rocking and rolling. I'm going to try my best to try to get down to that game. I'm going to have to try to pull some strings to make that happen. But I don't want to dwell on too far of that. That's the next game. But tonight and in the, in the, in the coming days, we, we're really going to start having this real conversation. I think the conversation is already out there. Go have a real conversation about who's the next head coach going to be because I don't want to see anybody lose their job. I don't want to see anybody be unemployed. I don't want to see anybody be in that situation. But I think tonight was the night that I think Coach Whitley lost, you know, the, I ain't going to say lost the job, but he lost the the way to be in, uh, in the running for this job. I just think so. Even if they turn around and win the rest of the games, uh, I don't see Binko bringing him back. That's just my personal opinion. So I think he has a bright future somewhere else. You know, I, I think he does. I, I don't think he's a bad coach. I just think he was put in a situation where he couldn't fix it fast enough. And in this business, is a game. It, it's all about results. What can you do? And if you can do it, we'll see. Even if this was a fighting chance, if this game was closer, maybe I'll still be on that bandwagon. But after a game like this, forty-one to fourteen, I don't. I don't think he's going to be considered. That's just my personal opinion. I uh, hope that it didn't ruffle any feathers, but that's just the way it is, and we'll see where we go from there. And hopefully, we'll you know we'll get a W against you know Georgia State. It is now officially Southern, not State Week, even though it's a week and a half. It's officially Southern, not State Week. If you like this video, hit the like button, share this video, let people know what I'm doing over here. Let uh everybody know. Like I said, we're growing. We're getting things together. Trying to march to 950 subs. Try, uh, also trying to get to, to 1K. So it all begins with you guys, the word of mouth, on top of, you know, you guys are sharing the content. So I really appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next one.
keep your hands up, guys. It's going, like I said before, it's going to get worse before it get better. But not just for the program, but, you know, the kids, they, they play their heart out. They tried, they, I, I know they tried their best. And, you know, they were just, they just was not prepared. They just wasn't. So let's see if we can get these Panthers. All right, y'all. Y'all guys be easy. You guys take care. Peace.